Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 47. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. GT World Championship, race number 5. Around the Nürburgring. Listen to that music. Ah, oh, it's kicking up. I feel like I just need to like, just shut up for a minute. That is some good music. So today what we're going to be doing is finishing off uh, the GT World Championship. This is race number 5 around the Nürburgring. 24 hours of Le Mans track as you can see with the extra little bit. Uh, and we've got a load of, we've got a Sorbo Mercedes, an R8, Corvette ZR1, two touring cars, four GTs, typical cars. So let's get into the race. Right, here we go. Let's do this. Nissan GTR, touring car around the Nürburgring. 24 hour track. The proper Nürburgring. Uh, it's currently night time, so hopefully it gets a little bit brighter. A bit more towards daytime. The other cars accelerating away as they're getting ready to start. And now it's our turn. Right, can we do. Okay, no, we can't. Can we do the cheeky tactic? Can we do the cheeky tactic? Ah, uh, we could only do it for like two cars. I couldn't quite do the entire pack again like we did last time. Awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Very nice. We got two laps of this track to do. Which is gonna be an absolute pain in my ass. Uh, and it is not getting brighter actually. It is eight o'clock in the game. So uh, this is gonna be a tough race. shot that corner. Nice. Oh. Mazda, stay out of my way. Oh. The barrier saved us from spinning out. Here we go. I'm leaning into the corners, like actually leaning. It doesn't make an effect. Come on, we can't have the slow Jaguar in the way. Right, uh, break here. Perfect. Got to get around the corners at least. Nice. I couldn't imagine doing a 24 hour race in real life around this track. It would just be a nightmare. It's a great track, but the surface would just challenge you so much. No. Not great. Nice. 
Come on, come on, come on. I haven't driven the 1000 horsepower GTR yet around this track. I've driven it as the 600 horsepower GTR, but not as the 1000 horsepower GTR. And that is a bit of a problem because we have no form of practice whatsoever. And we all know how difficult this track and how unforgiving this track can be. Nice. Let's get past. Squeezing through. I would like, like, a special reward for doing this. Like, for finishing this exact race would be pretty sick to have a special reward. Or not this race, but this championship. Because this is, like, the big final one. Right, keep it controlled, keep it steady. Okay, so the car's not very good at taking corners at high speed, apparently. Or well, not the Nürburgring's corners, anyways. We've got cars trying to overtake us. We are not going to let them, though. Because we're going to drift around corners. Epic. Victory Royale. This is it, though. I have just realised this is like the final race of the final championship. Like, this is a big moment. That car is so powerful, though, in the carousel. It just, like, whips the tail end out. Perfect. Let's go. This is like the really dangerous section because there's so much accelerating and braking. Nice. The people over there must be having the time of their lives. Just watching these cool ass cars drive past. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Going through the mini carousel there. And then coming on to the main straight in a minute. And here we go. Top speed test time. Two twenty miles an hour is a very good speed, actually. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Oh dear. Right, next next lap we'll try not to crash there. And now across the line.
Wow. Very nice. It's a good thing it's uh, two laps and not one, because if we crash then on a one lap race, game over. Nice. Perfect. The GP circuit is really good for the 24 hour of Le Mans. Perfect. It's getting darker and darker. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't crash me out today. I would like to win this. There we go, hairpin corner time. Very nice. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. That was epic. Now that is what I call pretty epic. Nice. Perfect. Whoa. Imagine being halfway through this track, right? And having to do an entire lap in the web because it's just started raining. That would be a nightmare. Like if this track was in Britain, it wouldn't work. Because, oh, it would just start raining all of a sudden and everyone would start crashing. Like, you would not be able to predict the weather change. This is the surprisingly slow section for our GTR. It can't take this part of the course very quick. Oh, you're joking me.
How have you managed that three times to spin out on this circuit? All at different sections too. This car's way too powerful for this circuit. I need a slower car. I never thought I'd say that. Come on, come on, come on. You're going to have to get out of the way or you're going to get crashed out of the way in a minute. I shall not be defeated. Dun, dun, dun. You know how uh, Gran Turismo made Taurus Trophy? No. There we go. So they sort of like went out of their comfort zone, made a special game, slightly different to what we have at the moment, Gran Turismo, and they made Taurus Trophy, which is a bike racing game. Well, I think Gran Turismo should make a game called like, I don't know, Grand Touring or something like that. Something very similar to Gran Turismo. Exactly the same game mechanics, exactly the same gameplay, but it's an open world game instead. Like Forza Horizon. Like, I uh, imagine Gran Turismo making a real life driving simulator, not just the driving simulator. Come on, come on, come on. We didn't crash this time. Nice. And there we go. We got the win. Oh, that was crazy. 16 minutes and 38 seconds of just non-stop racing. Nice. Nice. Epic. Come on, come on, come on. Am I going to get... Why does it have to load a replay? That is one thing I really want Gran Turismo to get rid of, is loading replays. Mandatory. Because there's a replay button here anyways. Look. Why force me to load up a replay? Here we go. Finished the first championship. Ta-da. And 100,000 credits. Nice. Do we also get the special cutscene as well? For International A? Saving data. What is this? Oh, these are the outro credits. Okay. And that's real driving. It does look really cool. That does look really cool. I can't actually skip it. Shit. <laughs> right, now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the mission races. We have five races to do. Uh, first four are sections. The last one is a one lap battle. Let's go with the first one. This is um, the Castrol's Tom Supra. So let's do this one. Right, we're aiming for a 48.2 seconds. Oh, 
awesome. This is pretty cool being able to drive the Tom Supra. doing so well. Actually, I think we would have been miles off the time anyway, so... <laughs> obviously going to do this off camera anyways but I feel like this video's already been like 20 minutes long so far so I want to try and uh, speed it along a little bit there we go, a little bit of money there time to go to the next race now what is that going to be? hopefully something really cool it is a SLS AMG around the Nürburgring, aiming for a pretty decent. Right, let's do this. 43.5 seconds. Perfect. That's very good there. feel like we could do better on that final corner. We can easily get that time back. Not a problem. Right, our ghost has managed to get ahead. Big oof. That is not happening today. But I will do that off camera. Sort that out later. And obviously get the free car that comes with the mission races. Because that is mandatory. Right, let's see. What is the third event going to be then? Third one is the Nürburgring. And this is along the back end section. Right, let's do this. Aiming for a 1 minute 13.5.
What? The car wouldn't move out of the way. Just stood in the middle of the road and then brake checked me. You were braking for a corner that didn't need braking. And then that's my fault. Right. Jesus! How do you get past him then? I'm not waiting and wasting time sticking behind him because then I won't get the goal. to be in a car collision as well. to the next one which is I can't remember I genuinely like I check everything but then I just forget it like I may as well just say which rather than saying oh which I think is this one just say right let's check this out because I've forgotten it already spa there we go <laughs> we're gonna be driving the r34 skyline and we're aiming for a one minute and four seconds right here we go this is 100% wet weather, so this is going to be a little bit more of a challenge for us as well. Perfect. Alright, let's get up on the inside of the Subaru there. Alright, we've got to keep an eye out for the car just randomly appearing out of nowhere like that. medal first try let's go thank you very much dab on those haters let's do this right where's my money 16,000 for that awesome right we're now moving on to the final event which is I can remember this one apricot hill raceway we're gonna be going across there uh, one lap one entire lap and we are driving a Ferrari Dino um, against a Ferrari 458 Italia. Uh, 1 minute 46 we're aiming for. Let's go. Right, let's do this. Ferrari Dino. Dino. Whatever you want to call it. Why does the Italia get to go first? We're the slower bugger here. Genuinely, there is not any physical way of overtaking that Ferrari 458. Like, the AI car is clearly deliberately going slow. Like, look at that. A Ferrari 458 should not be going that slow. Like, I should not be able to overtake a Ferrari 
Ferrari 458 Italia that is clearly driving in my path and trying to spin me off that easily. Okay, yeah, he's, um, yeah, look, he flies past and then slows down. Oh my gosh, this, to spectators though, this would be the most exciting race ever. Go away! Jog on! I hate this Dino, it's so slidey. We've got six seconds to get there. We didn't even get silver. That was a bronze. Not even silver. Huh. Right, let's try again then. I need to get minimum silver. I wonder how we actually go quicker then. Avoid the Ferrari. That was a good start. Right, I'm relying on the Ferrari as my slipstream buddy. Right, go on, past you go. Time to be my slipstream buddy again. No! You crashed into me! got pissed off at me using him for slipstream. Right, <laughs> let's do this. Normally, it's not that difficult. But uh, for some reason, the game today just wants to be an ass. Do you know, that corner... No way have we just overtaken the Ferrari already. Right, so the Ferrari is going to overtake us. And then we're going to use it as a slipstream, buddy. And then we're going to go and slingshot past him. I think we're already um, beating our old ghost by at least three or four seconds. I think that is, that is it. 
Uh, I can't do that anymore. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.